Kusu Sangpo and hello to all my friends. Welcome to my channel, Orkazan's Kitchen. My friends, today I'm here to share you a recipe which I'm going to make Emma Datsi with white dried chili and fermented soya bean. So this is my fermented soya bean which I will be using to make my Emma Datsi today. So with that said, friends, I'm going to share you all the ingredients that I'll be using today to make this dried white chili and fermented Emma Datsi. My main ingredient here is actually dried white chili and the fermented soya bean. And I have some dried uh, red chili also. Since this white chili is not very spicy, it's on the mild side, so I have decided to add some more red chili to make it spicier. And I have cheese here. This is amul cheese. Like this is two, two slices, two, two, two and a half slices of amul cheese. And I have, I, this is sliced onion and some fresh tomato. I have it. And uh, like I shared it before, this is my fermented soya bean and for oil i will be using vegetable oil for cooking this emadasi today i'll use like two tablespoons of uh, vegetable oil of course salt and water so with that said friends let's start get cooking So I have taken a pan here since I'm not making a lot of it but uh, usually if you want to make a lot of emadatsi you have to use a shallow pan but uh, this is enough for my cooking right now so I'm just using a frying pan right now. So first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some water and the next ingredient I will be adding is the fermented, this is dried fermented soya bean. So I will be using this because I need to cook this for one or two minutes before I can add the other ingredients. I'll be cooking this in medium heat, my friends. this for like one or two minutes I mean you don't have to cover it okay friends this has been like two minutes uh, that I am actually cooking or boiling my fermented soya bean before I add the ingredients the reason why I like to boil this first before I add the other ingredients is that it releases the taste of the soya bean, I mean the fermented soya bean. So it incorporates properly to the emadatsi or the other ingredients when I add it. Okay, this is ready. And I'm going to add the ingredients now. So first I'm going to add is this dried red chili pepper. Like I said, you don't have to add the chili pepper if you don't want it too spicy since I want it to be on the spicier side so I've decided to add some more extra dried red chili pepper okay and I'm going to add my dried white chili And I will be adding onions. And the tomatoes. Salt. And 
oil water Gonna add a little more water and uh, this I'm going to let it simmer or boil it for like maybe uh, five to six minutes before I add the cheese so I'm going to cover and I'll check this back after five to six minutes Friends, it's been like uh, three minutes since it's uh, been boiling. So I'm going to check it in between and see or like if I need to stir it. Okay, so let's open and check it. This is how it looks right now. And I'm going to let it cover and cook for another two more minutes, friends. It's been like two minutes, so I'm going to open and check it. This is how it looks again. Have a nice stir. So I'm just trying to check as I stir if my chili peppers are cooked. It is. I mean, it's not fully cooked. It should not be fully cooked. So I would add the cheese at this time now. So I'm going to add the cheese. And I think I need to add a little more water, my friends. A little bit of water. And uh, I'm going to cover it and check this one back after two minutes again. And uh, friends, let's check our mother's again. It's been like two minutes. Give a nice stir. The chili is cooked perfectly. So Emma, that is ready, friends. This is how it looks like. I'm going to bring a close up. So friends, I hope you also make this recipe. This is very simple, you saw it, it did not take, I mean, of course the prep part will take a little bit longer, but the cooking process, it takes uh, less than 15 minutes. So this is Emodatsi. And friends, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I will meet you in my kitchen next time again.